Good evening, my fellow brothers of Jesus Christ. I greet you in Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, and the Holy Spirit, with the help of God, I greet you. Today, I have had many documentaries, many videos to do to D.B. Joshua, but a big question is that the building that collapsed in the churches and hundreds died, South Africans, Senegalese, Kenyans, and people across the world who came to the church. So the big question is, has the church sought it, the people, has the church sought the victims? What was told on BBC documentary that whoever who came for claiming anything related to the, to the victim, Pastor T.B. Joshua could produce money as a bribe, as a blood money. And what we can say, it was wrong that it was a blood money something I, I, I cannot say it happens normally or it happens spiritually. So today, as Pastor T.B. Joshua died without claiming, Pastor T.B. Joshua had no spiritual father, somebody who prayed for him to receive salvation, to receive repentance, you know. Pastor T.B. Joshua could never repent for his sins. So, after his death, after his demise and everything has gone, will your pastor ever insult the victim? Or will she continue praying here and then saying, oh my God, oh my Jesus, and whatever? Those, please, Pastor Evelyn, anyone, anyone listening to me and who has an ability to reach Pastor Evelyn, may tell the woman, and the woman by the name to be Joshua's wife, to call anyone who was victimized in the, in the accident during the church building and consult and sort the victims. Without so, the church will never be in peace. The church can't be in peace again. Please, please, please. But what happened is that the church is, has a stain of, has a blood stain. Whether you play the inciting of the players, just calling Kiara because of whatever that name.